And we have Robert Singleton. Mr. Singleton, please come forward, state your name for the record, proceed to your testimony. Welcome to the committee. Good afternoon, Chair Stevenson, members of the committee. My name is Robert Singleton. Um, I'm the Director of Policy and Public Affairs for uh, State Advocacy for Chamber of Progress. We are a tech industry coalition promoting technology's progressive future. Our members include uh, companies like StubHub um, and Vivid Seats, but they do not have a voter veto over our positions. I'm urging you to revise HF 1989, uh, which would, uh, as written, hurt consumers and benefit dominant ticket selling companies like Ticketmaster. Some online ticket marketplaces like Ticketmaster and its parent company, Live Nation, enjoy a unique position as the event presenter, original ticket seller, and reseller, a role that puts them in a position similar to competing ticket resellers. Consequently, these multi-role marketplaces expose consumers to comparable challenges and issues encountered by the resale competitors, a situation that has garnered significant attention and even prompted uh, scrutiny from the Department of Justice. Uh, HF 1989 prohibits the sale of speculative tickets. In the dynamic and fiercely competitive online ticketing industry, consumers benefit greatly from a wide array of resale options. This is advantageous for consumers who may not have the ideal circumstances to purchase tickets within the limited time, frame, time frames offered by original ticket sellers. Consequently, the online ticket resale market has emerged as a vital platform catering to a much broader consumer base than incumbent sellers. Limiting access to these secondary markets could stifle innovation in the ticketing marketplace, uh, ticketing marketplace that creates better options for consumers, such as ticketing procurement services that allow consumers to avoid the primary sale process. Furthermore, HF 1999 limits ticket holders from reselling their ticket before the primary, primary ticket seller's public sale proce process, whether or not the ticket is speculative. Rather than an outright ban, we would encourage the bill to, to require additional disclosure of speculative ticket sales. HF 1989 does include extensive language promoting disclosure, and we support this goal and appreciate your attention to empowering consumers. In this regard, the best practices for all-in pricing disclosure um, is to make the total, by, total price visible from beginning to end with an itemized breakdown available at the end. And we support this and support the amendment. However, the outright ban on speculative ticket sales might hurt and limit innovation in other contexts. So you accordingly, your testimony, please. we are not able to support HF 1989 at this time. I encourage you to continue revising the bill. Thank you.